Hey YouTube, been a while since I posted any videos. Been even longer since I did any work with my 18650 batteries. In fact, it's been uh, basically a year and a half before I was doing anything with them. So I went back through all of them, checking their voltages. This is the pile I've got so far. There are uh, 11 40 cell packs in there. Although, if you notice, there's several packs that are missing cells. That's because when I went through and tested them, after the initial testing, all, all the cells were left at uh, full charge. Now, I know that's not how you're supposed to store the cells. And the specifications say that the cells can lose as much as 10% of their charge over three months if they're left charged and stored. But all of these cells here retained over four volts of storage in the course of a year and a half. Over here, the cells that were tested, these cells after a year and a half have almost no significant charge left at all. This row right here has 3.9 volts left in them, just under 4 volts. This row between 3.8 and 3.89. This row is the 3.7 and those ones are 3.7 down to 3.5. So overall, the cells that have been tested charged, capacity checked. I have a total of five that self-discharged completely and I can count as garbage. Now as you can see here these are the internal resistance measurements that I took off of them. Some of them I wrote milliohm, some of them I wrote just R and the milliohm value. Based on what the chargers told me on their cell on their cell tests this one here has 290 165 190 115 and 102 those are the ones that self-discharged on the ones that retained a charge I have values such as uh, 120 milliohms 183, uh, 127, 133, 130, 170, 125, 218, 175, 139, and 90. Those are the ones that have between, in that 3.8 volt range, remaining after one year. I could go back over there and check what the resistance on those ones were, but at this point I don't see that that's even worthwhile. It's safe to say that the internal resistance test on these chargers, the... See, this is a BTC3100 charger that I'm using for testing internal resistance. And I think it's pretty safe to say that the internal resistance check is garbage and not a true reflection of what the cell's self-discharge capacity is capable of. So I'm going to start assembling packs here in the next week or so and getting them ready for putting on the charger on the solar panels. I have also begun completing the repairs to the solar panels that I have, that I purchased, and they're almost ready to be put into operation. So when I get that going, I will give my next update. In the meantime, everyone have a good day. Like, subscribe, whatever, it's your choice. 
I'm not doing this for profit. I'm doing this for information only. Have a good one.